it says in the notes and their email that um, our service will be interrupted for half an hour sometime um, and after that we'll have this extra speed so um, looking forward to the results of that interruption <laughs> just thought I'd <coughs> recheck the speed this morning before conversion to fibre start test That's the upload. Sorry, that's the download. Oh, there we are. That's what. That's that's typical. 0.62 megabytes per second for uploading to YouTube. Just over three megabytes per second download. Although I certainly upload much more than I down. No, no, it's changed slightly. It's slightly higher than what I normally see. Okay, well, we'll repeat this later in the day. Yeah, I guess I have to keep watching my email to be advised as to when we're connected. It's 10 to 10. I've just been setting up my mobile phone to the new router. I was enjoying a program and suddenly it froze. Came in to check the router and it's doing funny things. So we might be at the point of being connected or disconnected for a while while they uh, change things in the phone box. What's the... Uh, can I get emails and things on the computer? Oh, it's showing, it's showing up things, but of course that could have come in. Um, okay, this is where uh, there's no, no message there from BT or anything. Oh, now the router has gone blue. I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. Hmm, don't know. I'll leave it there for if there is any email from BT to come in. Let's see it there. Well, it's nearly a quarter to 11. <coughs> Things have been stable on the router for some time. <coughs> there's, a, there's been no email from BT, BT confirming I'm connected. Well, let's, um, let's just try a speed check again. No, there's no change yet. Ah. That's typical of what we were get, getting anyway with this slow broadband. <laughs> Close program. 20 past 11, no change here either. No emails. Okay, that's a waiting game. Right, midday. Another board bar oh. test. What are you talking about? Oh, the voucher, yeah. Yeah, no change here. Midday. Well, as you can see, the daylight has finished now. Gone well into the evening. I'm still not connected to fiber optic. We've not received any f indication on the computer or the phone that we are connected yet. 
but if you look at the letter of the wording of the letter, it say it can be connected any time up to midnight. So I think we'll look at the situation in the morning. Now, what will we see this morning? Switching on the computer. Only up for now. appear to be an email from BT. Oh, so it looks as if it's happened there. That's annoying. That's annoying. Let's try a speed test then. doing it. There we go. Oh, it's not happened. No, look at that. Normal pathetic upload speed. Alright, BT, you let me down. You're not done what you said you'd do. Uh... Oh dear. So this is how I had to reply to Jerry, telling him that uh, things did not turn out as BT had promised. Got no information from them as to how much of a delay there will be before I get it. Just silence. This is an earlier correspondence from BT and it does say at the bottom If you have any infinity issues, please ring that number. Okay. I will do that now and see what they say. Yeah, I was told I would be getting fibre optic connection yesterday, but it didn't happen. I'm just wondering why. About a telephone line, is that right? Well, it comes from a telephone line, yes. Answering yes or no about a telephone line, is that right? No. Sorry, could you say that another way? You could say things like... To get BTTV or I'm moving house. Fibre optic broadband. Is it to place an order for BT Infinity? No. Please enter the full phone number you'd like to talk about. Okay. Thank you. 
said that at the beginning of the call. Now, oh, dear, oh dear. That got me nowhere. Let's see how I get on online. So your order. Oh. Get the way. Sorry, your order has not progressed as expected. We are aware of the problem, and the specialist team is working on it. We will we'll be in contact as soon as we have further news. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll stop for the time being. A friend in Callington uh, made inquiries about connecting to fiber optic. Uh, he's with E. And uh, their charging system is rather different to BT's. And initially he was going to sign up to have that. Uh, when he thought of the costs, I think they took a step back. But as you can see here, because he uh, took a step back, they've given him a better deal. <laughs> so um, it's an interesting thought when you first apply. If you think it's too expensive, reject it and you might even get a better offer. Passes by. So I'll pay you next day. Checking my emails again. See if there's anything from BT. Either saying we're connected or explaining why we're not. But uh, absolutely blank from BT. Nothing at all. Only an email telling me what's on BT Sport. So another day passes and we're no further forward. My last two Christmas cards. My favourite two that we've received this year. Love them. Anyway, what I realised later, the little converter box here to do with the Sky TV has also got to be tuned into the new router. And that can be a bit tricky because you have to put in all those 10 code dig digits um, in, in the correct sequence um, via the Sky Remote Control. And then the only way you can do it is by multiple presses over the, over the appropriate key. And that can be quite complicated, needing seven, up to say about seven presses on the magic code number I've been given for the router. So I worked out this chart. Um, that's the number I've got to encode in to that converter box and um, it means you know, so many presses of what particular key and in the right order and also the rate at which you press the buttons can affect what happens as well. It can go on to the next number before you're ready or it will bring up the wrong number. So you've got to know what you're putting in, you know what's that's actually gone in and get it done correctly for 10 particular inputs. And that took me some time, but I did achieve it in the end. I do end up with two lights on. I noticed if one had gone out and I realised later that I had to program that one as well. Because that was set for the old Richard's code number. <laughs>